The first tonight at 5:30, we're working new developments in a pair of crashes on 95 North near the Providence Place Mall. The story was first breaking on Eyewitness News this morning. One of those crashes involved a Providence fire truck. Police say a car driven by 31-year-old Emmanuel Cabrera of Cranston slammed into the truck while it was responding to the first crash scene. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie has more on how important it is for engines to be at those scenes. Providence fire officials telling me this morning's incident served as the perfect reminder why fire trucks respond to scenes to keep first responders and those involved safe. Around 1.15 this morning, Rhode Island State Police responded to this rollover crash on I-95 North. About 10 minutes later, police had to respond to a second crash while on scene. A second vehicle went around one of our trucks and crashed into one of our other trucks. Opened up the side of engine three's front bumper got ripped off. So there was a considerable amount of damage to the vehicle. Providence Deputy Assistant Fire Chief Brian Mahoney says though the trucks also help with providing any potential equipment needed at an accident scene, they're there for another important reason. Sometimes we do block the roads or block some of the lanes, but it's to protect the victims of the accident as well as our members. If it wasn't for our truck being there, that car would have plowed right into the accident scene that was on the highway. Mahoney says it's frustrating when people don't slow down or are distracted. We're there trying to help somebody and it's it's a dangerous position to be on the highways. Mahoney says it's not the first time the decades old engine has taken a hit. It has has some damage from previous incidents in the past. The repair shops currently assessing the truck and deciding what they need to do to get it back on on the road again. State police telling me the driver in this morning's incident was arrested for suspected DUI and will face a judge next month. Reporting in Providence, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.